Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I am here with a $300 gaming PC build. Now, with this PC, it's a very much budget PC obviously as you can tell, but with this PC, you'll be able to run games like, you know, Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike Go, um, League of Legends, Dota, whatever, you know, non-very intensive World of Warcraft, most most MMOs you'll be able to run. Um, you know, you'll be able to run any game, run in air quotes, you know, you can run Mirror's Edge, Battlefield 4, whatever, but it won't be at great settings. The only games you'll really be able to max out at 1080p are like Fez or uh, fuck Phil Fish, but you know, still Fez. Um, games like that, you know, Counter-Strike maybe, things like that. So yeah, let's get into this for the CPU only the AMD 5350, 2.05 gigahertz quad core processor. This is $65 right now. It's part of AMD's new-ish Kabini line, which is their line of, you know, budget-oriented APUs. Uh, I'm not sure the exact GPU that this has in it. Uh, I can't really pull up the page right now, but yeah, it is a great APU overall. Plus, with the CPU cooler we went with, you can overclock this like a beast. Uh, for the CPU cooler, only Be Quiet, Shadow Rock Slim, uh, rifle bearing CPU cooler. This is $35 right now. With this, you'll probably be able to overclock this CPU to, I don't know, 3, 3.5 gigahertz. I'm not exactly sure how AMD, or not AMD, but uh, APU overclocking, you know, especially AMD APU overclocking differs from standard overclocking on like an i7 or 8350 or whatever, things like that. But I'm pretty sure it should be the same Correct me if I'm wrong. For the motherboard, I'm with the ASUS AM1M-A Micro ETX AM1 motherboard. Right now, this is $40, which is a amazing value for this motherboard. Plus, it's Micro ATX, so you can fit it in a, in a smaller case, which in this build, I did go with a Micro ATX case, so that's nice. Uh, not much more I could say about this motherboard. For the memory, I'm with the G-Skill Ripjaws X-Series 8GB, which is two sticks of 4GB DDR3 1600MHz memory. Right now, this has a 10% off promo code, making it $72, which is the cheapest I've seen this RAM in a little while, which is nice. Not much more I could say about that RAM. For the storage, I want the Western Digital Caviar Blue 1TB, 7200 RPM internal hard drive. This has a $5 mail-in rebate, making it $57.23, if you can't tell I'm trying not to burp right now. Um, good commentary, A-plus commentary. Uh, for the case, I'm with the Rosewell FBM-02 Micro ATX Mini Tower case. This is $22.99. A great case overall. Right now, it's actually slightly cheaper than the Rosewell FBM-01. Also, going back to the hard drive, which I went with the Caviar Blue, uh, one terabyte if you don't remember. If you do have a little bit more money and you want to go for more storage, uh, you can go with the Seagate Barracuda two terabyte or even three terabyte. Although, quick disclaimer, Seagate Barracudas... Uh, usually fail a little bit quicker than caviar blues or especially blacks um, and they're also a little bit slower so if you do want more storage over you know more reliability or whatever then you can go that route so yeah last thing for the power supply with the corsair cx430 430 watt 80 plus bronze certified semi-modular atx power supply right now this has a 10 percent off promo code and a 20 dollar mail-in rebate making it $25 which is a steal for this uh way back when well, I say way back when it was like a couple of months ago this was actually $20 which is pretty awesome but $25 is still a great value for this plus in this build we're only using 124 watts so you do have a lot of overhead to overclock or add more RAM or add another hard drive or SSD or whatever you have room to do all of that now if you Honestly, to be completely honest, if you wanted to add like an R7 250 or something like that, like an, an add-on card, I think you could do that with Kabini APUs, then I do think that you would have enough wattage. If you do plan on doing that in the future, I'd recommend you go with like a CX600, but maybe you'll have enough wattage with this, but you know, it's just a side note. Uh, yeah, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here. I post content every other day, or no, actually once every three days. See, I'm not used to that intro yet. Or outro. Whatever. Great commentary. 10 out of 10. Would watch again. Thanks for watching. And peace.